everybody, welcome back. It's Friday, and I'm your man, Bad Chad. Queen Jolene's on the camera, and Fina the dog is right there. Um, it's tailgate day. I have got the box pretty well fabricated, good enough where I want to go with the tailgate. I have, if Jolene wants to come over and show you what's going on, I have all the mounts made for the box. Um, it's not 100% finished, but I got all the mounts made for the box, and I'm going to show them to you. I've got one up here, I've welded a piece of plate to the square stock there. Uh, we've got a bolt down through the cross member or the X brace in the chassis, so there's one there. Uh, I stiffened the frame up a little bit. I welded some uh, 3 16 Actually, it was a piece that was cut off of this. It was 2 by 3 3 16 I welded that underneath there, which made the frame a little thicker, and I bolted it down through there. I might end up cutting that off, adding to it or something. It's not that pretty right at the present moment. Uh, this is the uh, 3 16 square stock that I cut to put on top of the chassis. Have not got it finished welding on top, welded on there yet. But there's another one, so that's one, two, three, and fours back here. And when we double it up, that makes eight. So I have eight box bolts to hold it down. This is just a piece of square stock that I put in against the cross member going across the back. I welded along the side, which give it sort of its own gusset. And then I just 45 it up here with a piece of square stock underneath of this cross member here. And then I bolt, put a bolt down through it. I think it's going to be fine. Uh, it's going to be fine. Everything's nice and tight and right. We've got it bolted down. I've got my box. Um, one inch square stock is welded to the box sides. Not saying it's complete yet, but it's basically where I need to go. Now what I have to do is what I want to do is I want to close this piece in and I want to make a tailgate. Do not know exactly what's going on yet, so bear with me. As I've got um, my 14 gauge, I'm going to stick a 14 gauge back there because I have it and I want to use it. I have a piece of 14 gauge here. Um, that's not long enough. It's two inches, two inches too short. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece off of that to make it long enough to work. Um, as you can see, as Jolene's filming here, we, I put the running board on. The running boards are toast. Um, I did a little, I bent this all back this morning, um, but I just wanted to put it on there to see what was going on, the distance where the fender goes and stuff. I have one more piece of 14 gauge, it's 8 feet long, 2 feet wide, and I can get two running boards out of it. I would make a tailgate out of that piece, but I, want, I don't want to run and buy another piece of metal to make the running boards. I want to make the running boards out of 14 gauge. I do, I do, I do. I uh, just want to show you what's going on with the running boards, why not? So I have to make some running boards and you can see how they've been repaired. Someone did a repair on them years ago or whatever, and uh, what I want to do is I want to make some new ones. And I have enough 14 gauge if I add some metal to the tailgate. So basically what I'm saying is, is that I'm willing to weld a 2 inch strip on the end of it to make the tailgate. I think I can weld it on good enough and grind it off so you would never know that I've added a piece of metal. And I'm going to go for it. So right now, let's do it. I got a piece on the back here. Uh, it's I need a seven inch piece to cover that back. So I'm going to weld a piece of 14 gauge across there. That can be just closed off, used for tail lights. It can be used for anything, but I need to get that closed off and then we'll go for a tailgate. I have this measured out. Do so, seven inch, seven inch. I'm going to some markers there. I'm going to turn the plasma cutter on and cut some pieces. I did not change the ends on the old Lincoln yet um, because I have been busy with other things and uh, that's what's been going on. I'm busy. But let's make a tailgate and close that back off at the same time. I'm going to just gather my stuff up here. Let's take this off. Take this out first. You can never have enough too many or enough ways to cut a piece of metal. You can never have too many ways to cut metal. And uh, it's always good. You can cut it any way you want to, but this time I'm going to try to cut it with a plasma cutter to quicken the process. 
That's all. I do like the Lincoln because it has the guard on the end um, so I can run along there. This one does not have the guard, but the end's not plugged up. And the end does plug up on that one just as well as the Lincoln does. I've never changed that one yet, so basically it has plugged up. I'm saying, or I'm thinking. I'm going to run here a little bit because we want to get a tailgate made, and I don't think I'm going to, you know, I want to get a tailgate made, basically. It's going to take me a little bit of time, so I'm going to run. Every once in a while, it's good to run. I'm going to take these things off. All they're going to do is catch on fire, or a chance to. Jolene looks amazing today. I woke up at 5 and got her coffee. <laughs> Not five in the morning. <laughs> no, we woke up what time? 7.30? 7.30, made her coffee. Jolene always gives me a nice big smile in the morning. Good morning, sweetheart. It's always good to start your morning off with a smile. If you can start it off with a smile, just think how much better the day can get if you start it off with a smile. This is 14 gauge, 14 gauge. All righty. We've got this bad boy on. We've got the ground on. Ooh, that sounds good. Gonna have to. Why that that did not want to stay, I don't know. Didn't have it on there right, I guess. Go for it. I'm trying to be frugal with all the metal because I want to get the job done with the metal I have. I do not want to go buy metal. So I'm willing to add some metal to the tailgate. That was a poor cut. Whatever. We'll continue on. Ah, hope like ah, that way at least it didn't fall on my toes. That's a good thing. Let's get a hammer and knock the slag off. One didn't cut as good as the old Lincoln, did it? Huh? Yeah, the Lincoln usually takes you off just a little bit better. It's a bigger machine, I would say that's why. Two fist in her. Now I'm just gonna stick just gonna hold this against the truck and see basically that's gonna be our piece going across there. And if it's a little long at the bottom, that does not matter because I can buff that off after. I, I appreciate it being a little bit long. On the top is where it counts. 
Why am I a little bit long? I'm not sure, but anyways, that's fine. What I will do is I'll weld it down there and I'll weld off the bottom and then buff it off so it's nice and straight and you know, that I like it. But I need a two inch piece on the, on the end, so I'm gonna weld a piece on that first. I'm going to cut it with the grinder, no doubt in my mind. Nope, I'm gonna cut it lengthways because I'm gonna need a piece for the tailgate. Now this is not long enough. I do not want to go to that piece of metal over there because I want running boards out of that piece. And I am not going to buy a $300 piece of metal when I can weld it together and be happy. I know how happy I'm going to be, but I'm thinking I can weld together good enough I will not have to basically do anything to it. I'm hoping. Would be easier just to cut it with a plasma cutter, wouldn't it, baby? Be faster. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, if I held that on there, I could probably do it. I'm going to do it with the plasma cutter. Change my mind. Like I always do. Change my mind. I change my mind a lot, but that's okay. You're allowed. If I've never told you before, you're allowed to change your mind or your... Whatever you, whenever you want. Ah. Beautiful. Glad I changed my mind to the plasma cutter. With the slag. The slag to grind it off sometimes um, takes time. If I can just get it off with this hammer, it just makes it grind off faster, smooth the edge off faster. Um, you can spend quite a bit of time. I've ground slag off before, and then, it, then I found out chipping it off is just a little bit easier than grinding it off. So there's my straight edge piece there. You can tell that that's quite thick. It's a 14 gauge. Now, I want to weld a two inch piece on there and I'm gonna to wanna to leave gap. So I'm gonna put it on the floor. And hopefully I can get that weld together really nicely. Hopefully that I don't have to. What I don't wanna to have to do is fill it basically. And uh, I'm gonna to try to weld it on there and do the best job you can, grind it off, flush it off, and uh, be happy with it. And save money, because I do not, like I said, <laughs> probably said it three or four times already, I do not want to go buy another piece of metal. I would like it if I had the metal, but I do not. So, I'm gonna do without. I just want to make sure it's flush. And I want to put a gap in it so I can pen have penetration. No gap. Um, I won't be able to grind it all off. It. Just trying to make sure it's flush. Just because it's on the ground doesn't mean it should make it 
doesn't mean it's flush. Okay. Not sure exactly what I'm doing the present second. I'm just kind of flipping it over and uh, trying to get both. So I have to weld both sides, I think, to flush it off nice. I guess it only matters on one side, but I'm going to see if I can get her. I don't really want to shrink it, and when I put this cold air on it, it does sort of shrink, so I just want to cool it off. When I grind it off, I'm going to want a nice, uh, complete weld with no pinholes is what I'm going to want. 14 gauge, I'm hoping not warping it. And I don't think I am with putting the air on it. But, weird things have happened. When I turn this over, we can see that that weld did not come all the way through. Like it could be, you know, it could have been had a bigger gap on it uh, than I give it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld it up on this side. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Did I get you? Sorry. I'm going to weld it up on this side too. And you can see, well, that's probably held up because of the weld. You can see that it's not penetrated all the way through. So I'm going to weld it on this side and grind it off so it looks like one piece. Just do it quickly. Bear with me, and we'll make a tailgate.
Trying to go quickly. Yeah. I'm going to be able to grind this a little bit. The reason being the thickness, the thickness of the metal. this off shut that off and get that piece of metal welded on the back of cut this off with a zip cut Got a piece there for my for my tailgate because that piece is not going to be long enough either. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 11 and a half inches. All right, we got lots for that. That'll do that piece because obviously our metal is not long enough, and I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to say it again. Just like Jimbo, I'm not going to say it again. Huh, remember that? That was funny. Jimbo made me laugh. There you go. Okay, green, like it's flashing green. Is it okay now? For a second, turn. Okay. Jolene's not happy. Create the pressure. Jacqueline? I just unplugged it. I just need to check something. Okay, well, they don't hurt to unplug it while I grind that off. Yeah, that's fine. It's. Just keep going? Cool. All right. Let's get this grind off. The truck is looking really, really, really good. The truck's looking really, really good. There's some, there's some small stuff that has to be fixed up in here. If you're looking up in here, this is not welded here yet. But I have to do some work here and on the other side. But basically the box is where I'm at right at the present moment. I want to stay there until I get a gate on it and get it somewhat complete. Jolene took off and left the camera sitting there and didn't know where he was. I'm holding this grinder as flat as possible because I want this piece of metal to be flat as possible when I go to put it on. And as you can see,
little bit of bend going on. I just want to tap it down. best thing that I got to do is to weld a piece of metal to a metal to make something, but just a little bit further. I said Papa Smurf, just a little bit. You can see how I got it ground off. I got a little bit of an edge there, but that'll grind off as soon as I straighten the piece out. See how there's no gaps, no no pinholes in it. Mm -hmm. Means it's well done. Baby. We'll leave that as the back side. I'll leave a little bit of meat on it. This is going to be my front side. Saying that we got a nice repair there. That's how simple that is, you know. There's no big method to it. Um, bend, grab it, bend it back. Lots of metal to, to grind her. Can I put this on you? Sure. Tony's going to change my mic. Are you? Yeah, I'm just going to turn that one off. Just put this in here. You want to take that off? No, you can just leave it for now. We're changing mics. Why don't you stick it up? You know, that's not ideal. Tucking that in? Yeah. Are you happy with it now? I'm not sure yet. We're having mic issues. Talk to me, she says. Talk to me. She's a lot better now. I got a thumbs up. I got a thumbs up. I've got this on the back side. I'm going to leave that there. I'm just going to leave it there. I feel like it needs a strength. On the front side, I've grounded off nice and flush. Nice, nice and flush. And I'm going with that. Actually, I want to tap it with a hammer. I feel, I feel a little something. Basically, I'm, play, I'm playing with it because I want the most minimal damage on a piece of metal as I can get. That's what I want. This is going to be the piece for the back. If I had to skim that, um, that would not bother me to skim that with filler. It would not bother me. Basically, like I said before, nobody's building anything, welding it up, and not filling it out. So I'm not scared. Let's put that piece on. I'll grind the underneath of it off. The bottom piece of that piece has got quite a bit of slag on it from the plasma cutter. Um, not really worried about it too much. 
because um, that piece will have to be smoothed off in the end anyways. So I'm going to grab, turn that on. That's obviously on already. All right, we'll get this piece on, then we'll get on to a tailgate. Got any there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this side on so we're so it's at where I want it to be at, and then that's something to help me hold that. Come help me hold this. You would have helped me, wouldn't you, come here? Gotta come over a little bit. Slide it off a little bit. I think it's gonna be perfect, so I'm just gonna put it on where it needs to be on this side. You can see where I'm down at that edge where the weld can go in there nice down on that roll there a little bit perfect all right you can see where I'm down that roll a little bit I'm thinking that's the perfect place to weld it I'm going to start from actually going to start from this end because I'm holding this end usually I would start in the center obviously but I'm feeling like I'm in the right spot just going to tack it Hold it for myself. Let's go to the center. I'm feeling like it's right. I don't work myself either. We try. Where I've got that welded like that, you can see where the weld's going down. So I'll be, I'll be able to grind all that off, which will make me happy. Which will make me happy. Got a nice gap going on in there. Just hold this tight. Weld this on. Seen. Got a nice gap going on there. It's nice. I like it. I love it. Don't want to get anything on my steak pockets. Wild splatter going on there. That's fine. Where it's sand it, sometimes it'll stick. Weld this one over here. Let's check and see if everything's going good. This off. Yeah, that's better. That made me happier. Good. Just in the middle. Welds it nice together. Alrighty, let's make a tailgate. The bottom, um, I will flush it off with the grinder after. Um, so we'll go along there, weld that on there. So that's basically what's going on there. We're gonna leave that like that. Let's make a tailgate. I'm not really interested in welding the two inch strip all the way along it. But I can tack it for now. Why, are we taking a long time? Oh, we're good. We're good. She said tack it for now. And I said, well, we'll see what happens. Alrighty. Yeah, because I can... Um... Alrighty. 
this is where I'm at. I've got some round stock on the top of the box, on the top of the rails. I've got some round stock on the backboard or the headboard. I went outside and I found some round stock. I didn't want to go buy some. I wished I would have went and looked before I bought that, but here we go. I'm going to use this for the tailgate. Fit. What a fit. Alrighty. You can take a little bit off that. I need two of them. Let's check this out. Yeah, we're, oh, beautiful. Can't say nothing about that. That's gorgeous. Not as gorgeous as Jolene, but gorgeous. I'm going to do another one the way I've done that one, that way there. Pretty hard to set that round stock on top of that round stock without taking off on me. Beautiful. Taking. Just want to knock the ends off a little bit. them a little tight. Um, I'm trying to take a little bit off them because I'm going to have to have room for primer, filler. You know, there's some actually, you know, you think you got that all welded up, you're not going to need no filler on that. But we got some spot welds on the back side of the box where we put the stake pockets on. I'm going to have to have a little slim of fill on that to take that edge away or whatever we're going on there. So they're going to have to have a little bit of gap. I'm not sure. An eighth, 316, not 316s. An eight, three sixteenths, yeah. And basically, we need a gap going down there either side of the tailgate. I have two pieces of pipe that are cut that are going in between there. So basically, now I need a piece of metal um, to make the gate. And we're still tight. We're tight and right. We're not bad there. So we're going to have to take it, you know, take a little bit of it off. So I'm thinking we're going to have. Pipe at the top and the bottom. There's a piece at the bottom that's still tight, but it fits. But it fits. Not sure how I'm hinging it yet, but that's okay. Gotta build the gate first. All right, let's cut a piece. That's 11 and a half. I'm gonna wanna come halfway on that and halfway on that, so I'm gonna cut. I'm not going to cut 11 and a half, I'm going to cut 10 and a half. I'm going to take an inch off it and because I am going to apply the round stock probably in the middle of this. This is inch, so I'll say it's, we're going to half inch either end, so I'm going to take off, I'll, I'll apply it in the middle of that so we can grind it off nice. I can't, but if I apply it down like this, um, Right at the top, that's not going to be good because I have too big of a gap going on there for the weld. So I've got 11 and a half is the height there. 
So if I take a half inch, this is inch pipe, so I take a half inch off, I can weld it in the middle of the pipe, and then I can have it nice and tight. So I'm just talking myself through it as we go. I'm gonna take this off. Let's get a piece cut, 10 and a half. I got a two inch piece over there to add to it. I'm just gonna tack that on, because you'll know what I'm gonna do as I did it to the back piece. See what I did there? If I close my eyes, I can't even see it. <laughs> Basically. Sounds about right, doesn't it? Let's go, we get a straight edge over this end this time, so we're gonna go from this side. I don't wanna use the, I do not wanna use, looking for a pen, there they are right there. Please fall. Ten and a half. Gonna go check that. It's 11 and a half. I'm gonna clamp this on here. And 10 and a half. Get my clamp. I want to check and see if I got the right distance for the. Not bad. Gonna have to want a little bit of gap between the square stock and the tailgate itself. I'm just thinking. If I'm gonna do that, I should actually, I'm gonna put this right on the line and I'm gonna take it a little less than 10 and a half. A little less than ten and a half, and that way there I can have the gap. I'm trying to let um, give myself some gap for the tailgate when I put it on. I want some tail, some gap between the piece that we put on the square stock underneath, so where, where it swivels and hinges. But yet I still want it to come to the top of the bend. the setting on that shame on me Sorry, I got a clamp underneath there is what's doing the trick. And the trick is holding me up. That's the trick.
Ah, that's all right. At least it went the right way. Woo, that was good. Let's get the slag off it. Look at that now, would you? I turned that up to the right temperature. She got no slag on her. Woo -hoo! No slag. Get our two inch piece welded on the end. I had some more of that here somewhere. I cut it off and left. Where'd I leave it? Right here. Right here. I might have to grind some, put some back, take some off. But I know what you're thinking. I'd go buy a new piece of metal, but that makes a difference between you and me. That makes us different, right? this different that's a good thing that we're all different in our own way and you know something those who beat to their own drum shape the world you don't believe it just ask me put a little more gas in the More gap in that one. Better penetration all the way through. Cut this off. Just a little bit. Hit it with a hammer for a second. 14 gauge. Just want to make sure it's straight. That's all before I start welding things to it. Beautiful. That's probably the best thing to do, just straighten it like that. I love it. Alrighty. Let's get our exhaust pipe welded on there, our pipe here. We'll get that welded on. Joey's phone's going off. That cut you off the thing, did it? Good. I have a good piece of, hmm, piece of pipe right here. Now, I generally like to go, but there's a, generally a line on this with its exhaust pipe. I think if it, I'm gonna look and see if it's straight. It's straight. Generally, um, the exhaust pipe has a a line on it, so you can tell um, whether you're putting it on straight or not. Hmm. Got to grind that little. I got a little bump going on there with the weld. I want to grind that off. Right. Put that on the other side. Let's put this on the other side. I'm 
going to guess where it's in the center. I'm going to guess the line. I took a pair, another pair of ice cream. Where did I put those? I dropped them right down there. Trying to get this done so you can see how I'm going to make a tailgate. Me welding it up is two different things. Um, I'm going to come this way a little bit with it. And I'm just going to hit it with a hammer while, while it's clamped. That way there, I don't have to... It will stay. Stay. It'll move. I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to take a look at the other side and see if we're even halfway. If we look good. And all I mean, all I'm trying to look for is it's got the knife. Looks good to me. What I was looking for, if it's got the same distance all the way along, it looks good. It looks good. You need a helmet. I'm just going to tack this on. I'm going to start in the center, like I always do. That way there, when I weld it on, like, it, like the, the box sides, I can grind it off nice. Beautiful. You are doing good. And what I do, as I'm, do, as I'm doing this, I, I said it before, I, I run the weld a little up on this pipe, so when I grind it off, I've got some material to grind. Going to the other end. Kind of holding down on it as tight as I can to make it sure it's tight and right. Gorgeous. Virtually gorgeous. All right, let's put another piece on the other end. Shut that off for a second. for a second find another piece of pipe that I cut let's do the exact same thing let's do the exact same thing now on this one on this one here I am going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to tack this on and try it before I zap it on. I'm just going to tack it on maybe in the center and either end. You didn't know I could play the pipe, did you? And now I'm just going to turn this over. I'm going to see if it looks the same all the way along. Basically it does. I'm going to tack it in the center, tack it on either end, and then I'm going to try it. And that way there, I'm not going to tack it all on like this because I might have to go down a little bit further or I might have to come up a little bit further. Whatever. So that's the way I'm going to play it. All right, let's try the center. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Everything okay, sweetheart? She wants to fix me up, boys. I don't mind when she wants to touch me either. Touch me. Rub me raw, sweetheart. Rub me raw. Just 
attack it at either end. I'm guessing. If you watch it all, thank you. Come back, everybody. Thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. If you watch most nights, you'll know that I like to guess. It's not a secret. And I don't mind guessing. Basically, it, you know, my motto is, if it looks good, it must be okay. And if it doesn't look good, well, let's change it. That's probably gonna fit in there quite tight, because if we remember right, uh, the pipe itself was tight, so we might have It is not done by no means. It is not done by no means. Yeah, I might be able to wobble. The reason I say it's not done is because now, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to take some off on either side, obviously. What I want to do is just want to see. I just want to see if it fits. Basically, basically we're at the right height there. That's what I want to see. I'll get a, some metal down or some. That's got the perfect gap down along there. And what's giving me that gap is the weld. There's some weld right along there where I weld that square stock. It's hitting it on that side. It's hitting on that side, which is giving me a perfect gap down here. Now, I have the gate, it's fitting nice up here, it's fitting nice up there, I'm so happy. Now, I've got some angle iron here. Now, that the angle iron, to me, I have to cut some of this off, and I'm gonna mark it to cut it off, so it'll fit. Basically what it is, it's fitting kinda tight. It's fitting nice on this edge over here, so I'm gonna leave that edge. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna cut this off. Um, be nice to do the other do the other side. I'm gonna turn my marker. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take my marker and run it up the edge. Stop it. Basically, and that's gonna cut it off for me, so it fits nice. That was a nice little nice little gesture there. That was do it that way. So I'm going to cut that, take that off. Let's do that. Ooh. It fits! <laughs> it fits. All right, let's get the other end knocked on. I want to knock the, this, this round stock on. And then we can cut that off after. Let me take a minute. Now, I probably need more than that cut off because I'm going to run some angle iron up the side. Let's get this welded on, then we'll go there. That will be welded continuously all the way up through. I'm hoping, I might even, um, 
where that's on there like that. I might just weld it from this side. Hopefully I can get the other side um, ground off without even weld the other side, basically. Just hoping that for enough penetration. I'm gonna take a zip cut and cut the edge of that off because I feel like it's too much for the, have to cut some of the pipe. So I'm gonna take a zip cut and cut it. And I still probably will not have enough cut off. And the reason being is, is because, and the reason being is, because this is gonna get added to the side of that. I'm gonna cut that off straight and then cut it off again, no doubt in my mind. Um, reason being is, when I go to shut the tailgate, uh, this is going to be here to close off the round stock and this piece here is going to be the piece that goes up against this to stop it from going in too far. So let's cut it. Let's, let's, let's do it all at once here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the ruler. It's going to be cutting that three and four times. I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut it once and add my and my angle iron and call it a day. That's my line that I think I want. You want to turn that off? Yeah. You're getting some static going on? All right, so this is my line that I want to cut off. I'm going to add two pieces of angle iron on either side to stop it from going in too far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to guess. I'm going to take that line. I'm going to make a new line. And I'm going to say that's going to give me two pieces of angle iron. I'm going to cut that line too. Alrighty, let's do it. Cross your fingers for me, people. Cross your fingers for me that it's going to work. So what I'm what I'm doing is I'm saying that that line that I put on there, that I scribed on there, that was going to give me enough gap to get my gate on. Now I'm just going a little bit further because I'm going to add this to the side of each side. So I'm saying that I've got a quarter inch there. I'm going to cut that line so I can add that on and still have my gap. Turn the gate that way. Add a piece of angle iron to the top of that. I'm gonna cut that off. There's something near my back there, but going to the top of the round. Another one. So 
we are making a tailgate from pipe and 14, 14 gauge. We are making a tailgate. So this is wants to go on. Uh, da, 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 da. So we want to put this on here like this. So we can weld this on front of the pipe. Uh, and this piece will close off this piece, close off this piece. And this piece here will have to be cut back some, obviously. But this piece here, this angle here, is going to stop the tailgate from going in too far. So let's get it tacked on there. You'll see. Let's do this. Tack it on the top and the bottom. Just want to make sure that we're covering our pipe, top and bottom. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop moving, Ted, stop it. Gonna tag it on here and then we'll and then we'll go from there. One tack and it's you're hoping that it hold it for you. Two tacks, you're in place. Let's go to the other side. Try it on. Shouldn't have threw that on the ground because I'm gonna want it again. And I just want to see if I can get the gate on. I want to get the gate on. Hold your cross your fingers. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. All right. You can see, you can see now how the gate's gonna go in there. It's got a nice distance on the bottom. I got that with the weld. That the weld's doing all that work for me. Now, what's gonna have to happen is, if you wanna come take a look at the back side, if you want, at the back side, we st we're still a little tight. Uh, and the, what I mean by tight, like basically this is too tight in here still. It fits, we're inside, we're, we're fitting. But we still need, we need to take that much off again. Uh, take. We need to take that much off again. We need to cut this piece back off. Cut more off it and then bring it in again. Let's, let's do. And then if you come take a look. We have this piece here. What we'll do is we'll end up taking most of this off um, so it looks nice. So we'll, you know, we'll probably do, I'm not going to leave that there, that mark there. I'm not going to cut that mark. But I'm just going to show you what we're going to do. I'm going to cut that off there. So then when the tail go, tailgate goes up, it hits that edge. We're not going to leave a bit and we'll have to cut this one off, off that edge. And then we'll have a tailgate on the truck. Um, when something like this, uh, when you would paint something like this, you see that in there? See how that's in there like that? That's where I would seam seal. Seam seal. So you fill that gap full of seam sealer. Seam sealer is stuff they use on cars all the time. I use it all the time. Um, anybody in the automotive industry uses it all the time. But that's where you would put seam sealer in there and up in there. Uh, 
basically that's the, the gate for the truck. We, will, we might end up putting hilts on there somehow. Are we too long? Oh, good. We'll just leave it like that then. So basically that's what the tailgate is going to consist of. I'm going to cut it off a little bit. I'm going to cut these off a little bit so it looks better, so it looks like it fits. Uh, I have to make a hinge system, how it hinges there. I have to make that. Um, I want to be able to take it off and on. There's going to be some, not sure if I'm going to uh, put chains on the back of it or not. But basically we're looking at a pretty original looking style truck. So we might as well just keep going that way. Obviously it's not original, but we'll just keep going that style, I guess. Um, everybody seems to be enjoying it and I want to thank you for that. If you like what you've seen, throw in a like. And if you like what you've seen, you might as well have a comment and uh, share and uh, subscribe if you like. We're just building cars for fun. Um, we're doing, um, the creative thing is making things is what I like to do. And if you like to get creative, uh, this is the channel for you. So I appreciate everybody coming back. Uh, we've got a tailgate sort of going on there. And uh, you come back tomorrow and you'll get to see what it looks like and we'll cruise on from there. Um, I, I apologize to the people that don't like that, but it's my party and I cry if I want to. See you all later and have a good Friday, everybody.